Good day, everybody. Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is, I think, we'll call it a part two of this 32 Ford build here. Um, the last video was about lowering the suspension on this kit. This is the Revell kit. I'll just grab the box here. The Revell kit here. This is an old one. <clears throat> so, yeah, last time we did the front end and rear end. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go to my channel and check it out. It's just called Lowering the Revel 32 Ford. Um, while you're there, feel free and subscribe and leave a comment and a like. And maybe get back to me and tell me what you if you have any troubles with that last build as far as working out what I did, and um, I'll try and get back to you. So with this one, we um, a lot. Of, I suggested we're going to do a body drop video, and there's a lot of guys that were interested in doing it and seeing how I do it. This way is, I guess we could call it the non-messy way. Because they can get messy doing it another way. Um, this is probably the easiest. There is a bit of work involved because you do have to shorten and modify a few, few parts. Um, but the end results end up really good. So we'll get started. I apologise now for my voice. I've just had, um, I've been sick for a week with the flu. It was regular flu, not coronavirus. So all good. But anyway, <clears throat> so currently our build sits like this here um, on the standard chassis and standard height because this is designed with um, so you can put the, the fenders and stuff on it. Um, so what we basically want it to do is I'll just get these polys apart here because I've got all the parts in it so it sits correctly. We need to get rid of this as well. So basically what we want it to do is to sit... I've got this bit on here too. I've got heaps of parts on it. Is to sit down on the chassis like this. It can actually go a little bit lower than that on the chassis. Um, at the moment it's hitting on the rear tank. So we'll go over that part as well. It should sit forward here. There's a section in the chassis here where it kind of meant to sit in um, so basically that's our end product will be similar to that if all goes well um, so these are the parts here that we will be modifying so what do we got we got the body does get slightly modified but it's only a little bit you won't notice it in the end build the chassis gets a little bit of work done to it, but not much. <clears throat> the floor pan here, um, we need to modify that. We need to modify the firewall. We need to modify these little body panels here that go inside these guards because the chassis sits on here currently and the chassis is going to be up however high the chassis comes up there. And we need to modify the door trims. And we need to modify the seat. And this here is, we don't modify it, but this is the tank. Uh, the top half of the tank, because it's these tanks are a two-part on these frames. Um, we might need to modify a little bit, but just, it won't be nothing crazy. <clears throat> because currently... The body won't go down with the tank in its current position because uh, it hits on it. So there's a few ways we can do that. So we'll start with that first. I'll just clear everything off my table here. So I'm down to my cutting mat. I'll just put the parts over here. I'll put my board up here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, there's two ways we can do this. I'm going to do the hardest way, just so it's easier for you to learn. The first, the first easiest way is to, um, excuse me, I'm just looking for a pen here. I'll use this pen. I should use pencil. Is how the how it currently sits on here. Um, what you can do is you can modify the rear of the body if you want. I'll just draw it on here quickly. My drawing's rough as guts here. I'll just colour it in. No, I won't. So, hopefully you can see that. Where this black is, you can cut that out of the body if you want. And then you get the frame, sit down on the frame. But... It ends up coming a fair way. You end up getting rid of this hole. This I've just drawn this as a rough example. You'll probably end up getting cutting right up to here or even further. Um, it's just a matter of trimming and putting on and trimming and putting on and trimming and putting on just to get it right. So the chassis sits down flush with the body here. That's one way. That's if you want to chop into your body. Um, if it's full custom, it's cool. If you want it to look more traditional and the original body, leave the body how it is, um, this is the other way. So this is a two-part fuel tank. What the best way is get your hobby knife and just scribe around the outside of this tank, just along the just along the frame rails there and here. And go along the back here, go along the back here of the tank. There's like a little step in the plastic there. So just along there, along there, along there. <clears throat> so basically you're just removing that from the frame. I'll do it now, then I'll get back to you. Um, I have cut the tank out of the chassis, as I was just suggested. It doesn't go that way, it goes, goes that way. <clears throat> so I've cut that out and cleaned it up a little bit. I'll probably come in later and clean it up a bit more once I'm ready to paint stuff. So we'll just put that to the side. It's just got all that. Just leave all this on it because we can use it later. And so. <clears throat> you can come back in and put the tank in. Um, it'll just be... In a different position slightly it depends where you want it to sit if you want it to go in the body or anything that's where the custom stuff starts coming in or you can put like a cool chrome tank in somewhere if you want but anyway we'll just do the body won't worry about the tank so now if you notice the body still doesn't quite i'm just trying to fiddle here you need like three arms <clears throat> So the body still doesn't sit all the way in the frame. If you put it into the front, you can see it's if you line the front up here where it's going to go. It's a bit awkward at the moment, but it'll get easier as you go. At the back here, it still sits, if you can see here, it still sits up a bit at the back here. Um, what it is, it's hitting on the back of the body here. <clears throat> so what you can do is either trim this chassis down so you've got like a maybe hopefully you can see that you just sort of scoop it out a bit and then just tape it into the back so it kind of looks a bit more natural um, that's one way you can do it or you can come along here and I've just taped here and you just remove a section of the body here. There's a exhaust pipe gap here. I I just leveled it with, with that for the moment. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. It should be enough. 
just to get that body down. So I'm going to do that technique because I kind of like the way the um, the chassis shapes back here. And you remember you got this little chrome piece that comes across the back here if you want to leave that on when you're finished. So I left it so I could use that chrome piece. So with this bit, you just, as I said, I just marked it. Um, it's up to you if you want to just cut that section in so it's just like a, a sort of a notch in there or if you want to bring it right around the corners here and then taper it in um, I'm probably just going to go the notch here for this one so I'll just um, do that now and then I'll show you as you can see now the chassis is sitting flush with the body here is exactly how we want it um, and I've chopped into the back there. I'll just take this tape off and I'll give you a closer look at this here. So what I did here was, I'll just try and get something, put some sandpaper in there so you can see. I made it higher on the sides and I'm just taping it in, in the middle. This is, I'm just doing some custom stuff here, just um, just to give it a bit of bit of shape in there. What you'll find is um, the, once you've got your chassis, your chassis rails poking out here and your cross beam, the chrome crossbar, um, a lot of this will, you won't, be, won't even see it. So, but I'll just put a bit of style in there. You can go straight across if you want, or you can just, you can just, notch out just the sections here like that for the chassis and leave the the middle bit still stuff the factory size or you can go all the way across like i did it's up to you it's all custom so just have a go at it um so that's that part done now <clears throat> We're still on the chassis here. As you notice here, these chassis, they've got this scoopy part in here, which is pretty cool when you're doing like a um, high boy because it's got a bit of style in it, into the chassis. But for us at the moment, that part here is getting in the road of the body coming down cleanly. It sort of wants to go on and then wants to come off. So what we'll do is, there's also a lip along the bottom here what I'll do is I'll come along and just file all that off and I'll just make this here I'll just make this square down like this or an angle I'll just make it like this so um, it matches the body so I'll get in and do that um, for this stuff I'm just I'm just using a file and I'll get into it with a big file as well just to chew down the material faster you can use if you've got a multi-tool or something, you can get in there and use it with that. I just couldn't be bothered doing that at the moment. And then just get the rough amount out and then come back and clean it up with file and sand it. Um, this is all construction stage, so you will come back and clean all this up before you paint it. If you if you want to do that or if you want a rat rod style, you can just go ahead and paint it when it's rough. All right, so I'll just do that and then we'll go back to the next stage. All right, so... I've um come in here, hopefully you can see it in this light, and removed all that bottom bit there, and I've squared this up here, just so the body now sits cleanly over the chassis, there's a little bit of room to play in there, which is cool. Now, I think we might move on to the next section which is we'll go with there's a fair bit to modify here so we'll do these parts here we've got the floor pan and the firewall as you can see when you put this in i'm just blue tacking this in here it's just so we can display it a bit for you Like that, we'll put 
to Shazzy in there. So now that the f even though we've um, modified the chassis, it's still sitting on the floor pan in here, and it still touches on the front of this firewall as well. So basically, the firewall can't get anywhere, can't go upwards. So what we have to do is we have to modify the firewall, and the interior tub can't go up either because it's perfect position to this back window in here. I'll take this chassis off for a second. In here, so it's perfectly in there. So basically what we have to do is get this floor section close further into the up into the body. So the chassis can sit further into the body. So what we what we have to do is work out how far this floor pan has to go into the body and then we're going to adjust it to fit so what we've got here is if we pull this out like this so we need to know how far this chassis is coming into this body so what we have to do here is what i do is i get in here and i try to i might not be able to do it in this one I probably can't. We'll just draw a line on the outside of the body here, and then where the chassis is here. You can measure this. Do it that way. We'll do it this way. <clears throat> we don't really need to do both sides, but I'll just draw it on anyway. Take this off. Sometimes. <clears throat> What you can do is, because my pencil doesn't fit through the window, but you can sometimes just put your pencil through the window and just draw along the chassis rails either side just to work out where your line will be. This is just to make a measurement, so it doesn't have to be. So we'll just do this roughly. this I'm just doing this to display what I mean <coughs> so basically your chassis will sit this high up into the frame into the body sorry I'm just feeling and fumbling here sorry about that so it should come up that far in so we need this floor pan here to sit no lower than that in the body. So in theory, we have to move, we have to make this, I'm doing this in centimeters, sorry about the non-metric guys. So it's pretty evenly, Um, I'm just measuring here about six millimeters all the way <laughs> six millimeters it has to go up into the body this could sound this might be confusing but um, it'll make sense in a second <clears throat> so what we do is I think this tape is my tape is six millimeters which is going to be handy oh it is there you go so I'll just grab a bit of tape here. It might sound confusing, but if you try to work it out yourself, it's even more confusing. So it's probably good to have a little insight how to do it a bit better. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, I'm basically going to take six millimeters out of this back wall here um, and squish it. It's pretty much squishing it, squishing it six millimeters. So you can take it out of the bottom or the top or wherever. And because it's that, the, the tricky bit is because it's on an angle, um, you can't just go straight up. It's going to have to be a little bit offset, but I think here, and you don't lose that much of it. 
So if you don't have six mil tape, you have to just measure it. So I just put tape across there, see if it's square. I just come up about five mil about five millimeters, <coughs> or I don't know what that is in that in um, imperial. Or so you can do it anywhere on here. Um, I'm just going to do it here. Um, I don't know because it's just where I've put the tape pretty much. <laughs> so. Just mark it, six millimeters. Like that. And then you basically have to just cut it. You just have to cut this section out. So you'll end up with two pieces. So I'll just do that and then I'll come back. I forgot to mention before, um, before you cut it, just draw two lines like this across it. Um, so when, once you cut it, you can line it back up so it ends up being in the right spot when, you, when you're done. <clears throat> so now we have to join this back together. And to get it stronger, I just got some styrene. Um, it's just styrene sheet. I use evergreen stuff. Um, I do a lot of scratch building and dioramas and things, so I've got tons of this different stock. Um, if you want to do custom stuff, just have a look at all the stuff they do, and you probably you'll find a size that you'll want or close to, um, just to do anything. I build a lot of chassis with it and stuff like that. I got this. I'm just searching for what it is here. It's just sheet, and I'm not sure this this isn't the size. I don't think, but it just looks like this. It's just plain sheet, and you get different thicknesses. I think this might actually be it. I think it is point point four millimeters or number ninety fifteen. So I've just cut a strip like this. Um, it's just. I just made it 10 mil, whatever, because that's the size the scrap I had and it fitted in there. <clears throat> so basically what we're going to use this for is just as a backing plate like this. And then we don't do it that way. We do it that way. And then we just glue this onto there like this. Okay. So, I actually forgot to draw the lines and I had to come back and draw them. And me, I've actually drawn on the wrong side. <laughs> so, I'm a bit of a dumbass. So, what we'll do is get some glue. I just use normal cheap super glue to build this stuff. Because it's quick and easy, it's cheap. I use a lot of it. I buy it in 10, 20 packs, whatever it is. I buy them in like five at a time. <laughs> So what we can do is, um, this is the back side because this goes under the window here. So we just make sure it's flat where your cut is. And that edge there. I just use a multi tool, tool to cut this. Um, I just got this hell budget cheap one the other day. Just I was just testing it out. Then it's not too bad. It's like twenty bucks. Um, we just have an Aldi store here and they have specials on all the time and it's just whatever junk they pick up and flog it off to you cheaply. I've got a proper one as well, but it's in the garage. So, so we just glue this onto here. This doesn't have to be neat because it's not going to be seen pretty much ever again. Maybe um, just let it stick out one side like that because then you can just trim it. That's pretty much stick straight away. So we'll just put some on here. Make sure you get a bit on that, on this edge here as well. 
and then I just gotta line this up by eye because I forgot to do the lines. And that's about it there. Glue it on like so, like that. Um, you do see this under the car because this doesn't actually, these don't actually have a, a um, trunk floor in them, which is a bit weird. So, oh no, it actually has. Sorry, I'm thinking about the AMT ones. I don't think they've got trunk floors in them. This actually got its trunk floors. So you're not going to see that at all. I've built AMT, the five windows and stuff, and they've got some really basic chassis on them. So, that's pretty much solid now. That's like... Just as solid as it is factory. And I'll just use these snips here. Just trim it off. The excess like that. If there's any on this side, there's a little tiny bit in there. And then just come in, fold. You just don't want it sticking out the sides. Like this. And the, the bottom edge here, you can come along. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do it now. Um, I might do it a little bit because in case it touches. But just to finish it off, if you're really getting into the undercarriage details, you can s sort of clean that up a bit just in case you do see it. But I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't see it at all. No, nah, it's fully hidden, so just that's fine like that. There you go. The next part we have to do, so we've got this floor done, is our firewall. Keeping in mind that everything we have to trim, well, we'll call it trim because we're just trimming excess off it now to make it all um, squish up into the body or the panels and that. Um, so everything now has to be trimmed by 6mm like my tape so with the firewall it now sits too high like the floor pan comes up against the firewall too high so we have to take I'll get my pointer we have to take the 6mm out of there and out of these sections here and off the ends of these here. So basically we're moving we're moving this line here up six millimeters. I have already drawn it on the back because I got confused a second ago, so I had to work it out again. Um so where I've marked here and down the sides here, along that edge, that all has to come out. Um, this one's been glued in before, so don't mind all the glue and crap on there. Um, I think these little lugs have to be removed as well. Um, I'm not quite sure. We'll find, we'll get to that point when, not, when we get there. So I'll just cut this out now with my multi-tool, and then we'll get on to the next bit. Here's our modded one. And just to show you the difference, this is the standard one. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to show it here. <laughs> Holding fiddly things in my hands. That's probably better. Um, you can see it pretty much has a similar shape. Um, you can tape these bits here. You can reshape them if you want to um, just emanate this factory one. I've just chopped them off. So, there we go. That's that part done. We'll just put in the car here to show you how far I've come so you don't get off, put off by what we've done so far. I think it's going to be not cool. I've already got the floor pan just um, blue tacked in. So now, when you put it together, it sits perfect. Maybe. Yeah. I'll just make sure the back of the floor pan was in. 
like this. And you can see here with the little parts I chopped off, um, it sits on the chassis like that. They might, I might just sand them a little bit maybe. Well, well that is looking pretty cool in there. <clears throat> so your floor pan's up here. Your body is down. Mine's down a little bit more than the chassis height. Um, that's all because I was cutting on the lines. Maybe you can go 5 mil with all your chops. Um, and then I'll get it dead on if you want it dead on. I don't mind going a bit lower. Looks cool anyway. Um, so, as you can see underneath, it still looks like a factory kit. Except we've got it just sitting on the body here. And I had to check before just to make sure. I wasn't sure what I did with, um, as far as the engine was concerned, I wasn't sure if it actually, if the any of the engine hit on this part here. Because this here, remember, this part of the firewall is now down five or six millimetres, um, which means your engine is coming. Your engine doesn't move. Your engine comes up to here. So... I did check on my other one, and it, I've got a um, supercharged, uh, I think it's 427 in that one, one of the Revell kit kit engines, um, the parts pack kits one, kit ones, and it all clears fine, even with the supercharger, the supercharger still, still misses it. So, that's that bit done. I'm not sure if you want me to show you how to do these. These are pretty basic. You just gotta um, follow the line. Just you just again you just come up six mil with this shape here. I'll do them. I'll do them now, and then once I mock everything up, you'll see them right in there. I won't show you how I'm done. You just take six mil off it, just so the chassis sits in properly. See, that's just a little bit. Of, we'll call it a little bit of housekeeping, doing these bits. So, um, not sure how long that's gone for, but you're probably getting a bit bored now if you or nodded off or whatever. So what I'll do is I'll leave it at that for this video. I'll do another part now. I'll continue. I'll just film it as I'm going. Um, I'll just make it a, a two part, um, two parts on this body drop because I've just I've just got to do the interior, and I said I'll, I'll do these as well when I'm. So they're ready to go back in and then um and that should be about it i think the interior one shouldn't take too long because there's not that much to do so we'll leave it at that um just hit the subscribe button and you should get a and maybe the bell thing i'm not sure even how that works it's a bell thing and it rings when someone posts something new and um You'll get a notification when the second part of this comes up because so i'll try and get this up in a day or so um i've been studying so i've and working as well so i'm just trying to find the times to do this in between all that so i'll post this up and we'll see you in the next one